So many vehicles on the roads of Bengaluru, all burning up fossil fuels and spewing out pollution. Would a solar car help? Probably yes, in the long run. Let's see what students of Manipal University have been doing when it comes to designing a solar car. A solar car developed by 27 students of Karnataka's Manipal University. The students' aim was to design a commercially viable solar car to encourage consumers to go green. The two-seater car weighs 590 kilograms and can reach a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Starting from scratch, we've designed the car. Uh, and in terms of being different from other uh, solar cars, uh, the thing is there are not many solar cars present uh, in, in the world right now. We have tried to optimize the total cost of, of the manufacturing of the project. So we've, we've done it like within 25 lakhs. That's, uh, we consider it as, as, as an achievement. The students received help from Tata Power Solar, which provided the solar panels for this initiative. The solar panel is curved to fit the car's surface and its aerodynamic design. And at 35 kg, weighs much less than conventional panels. We have given them support in designing these modules, in making sure that it fits uh, the car well. They, they need high, very lightweight and high efficient modules for them and in a very aerodynamic uh, structure. And, and that services we have provided to them. So our support has been to motivate them. Our support has been to give them uh, the module side, the energy side, uh, complete solution to them and work with them because their, their requirements were also changing as and when they were innovating. It would take years, of course, for a design like this to ever enter the market. But it is a green step in the right direction. It is a cliche, but maybe because it's true. Cricket is more like a religion in this country than a sport. So if the people behind the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bengaluru turn to solar energy to meet their energy needs, then maybe some of the millions of cricket followers in this country may just think that's a good idea. The Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bengaluru has seen some energizing performances in its colorful history. Think along the lines of the electricity generated by Chris Gale's batting. But now, the stadium hopes to quite literally produce its own power and eventually get off the grid. A 400 kilowatt solar power system has been installed on the roof of the stadium's eastern stands as part of the stadium's green drive. We want to make uh, Chennaswami Stadium a green stadium. We put up a 400 kV solar on the rooftop and we are generating about 1800 units uh, per day. About 6 lakhs units per year will be generating. So if this is successful, then we plan to put it on the western stand as well. A total of 1.3 megawatts is what we want to generate. The powerful lights of the stadium that have lit up many an exciting encounter after dark will however continue to run on the generator. Once the solar panels on the western stands are also operational, the stadium hopes it will be producing excess power enough to put some back into the power grid. Greener cricket, that's certainly something to cheer about. Well, that's it from Bengaluru. After the break, we'll take you across to Mumbai to see how that city by the sea is coping with air pollution.